On the back roads where the mountain gators crawl in the swamp land, we ain't worried about no law. You can find me in the woods with my dogs under pine trees in the land of the law. I've been drinking on this whiskey, got my head up in the cloud. What it was, what it is, what it will be. What up, Dog Pound? This is Triple T. I'm back again with another Dog Pound reaction. So if you're new to the channel, go hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. That way you know whenever we do a video over here, because trust me, this is the realest reaction channel you'll find on YouTube. I can promise you that. And look, I've been looking at the analytics, and it still says that only 70% of the people who's watching this are not subscribed. If you're watching, go ahead and subscribe. I'm trusting you. You won't regret it. We don't bite over here. You even know it's a daggone dog pound. We don't bite. All right, dog pound. Y'all know the deal. Sit back, relax, strap your boots on, get your doggy treats out, and enjoy the ride. And if you want to get some new merchandise, go to the description of this video. Click on the dog pound merch store. And you can go to the link and you get all the merchandise you want right for the holidays. All right. Today we're racking to none other than the man, the myth, the legend. One of the true outlaws of country music, Mr. Johnny Cash. And he did a, a thing called animation, I Am The Nation. A shout out to Ronald Payne who sent me this link. And believe it or not, I've never heard this before. So, it's going to be new to me and new to you. Probably to most of you. There are probably some of you who have heard it, but I've never heard of this. So, we're going to check it out. So. May he rest in peace, the GOAT, Johnny Cash. You're up to the plate, up to the chitter-chatter. Let's see what you're talking about with I Am The Nation. Let's get it. I Am The Nation. I was born on July 4th, 1776, and the Declaration of Independence is my birth certificate. The bloodlines of the world run in my veins because I offered freedom to the oppressed. I am many things and many people. I am the nation. Hey, that's facts right there. He says, I am the nation. And he said, my birthday is 1776. My bloodline runs through all many people. Meaning, this country is made up of all types of people. That's what makes this country so great. Now, there are a lot of people out there who dislike this country who are American citizens. Some are natural born citizens. And they hate it. I don't understand. How can you hate the country that you live in and is, without a shadow of a doubt, the greatest nation in the universe? But there are people out there that hate it. They hate it that much. They do not want to see America succeed. And that breaks my heart to, to hear and see that. But it's facts. Well, I see this is going to be an educational. Let's go. I'm 200 million living souls and the ghost of me. Now, this is an older song. It's actually up 350 now. So. Let's see, this video was posted in 2013. I'm sure it wasn't made then. But 200 million citizens, that was probably back in the 70s or 80s when he did this. But it's, it's grown drastically then, since then. That's tough. Souls and the ghost of millions who have lived and died for them. I'm Nathan Hale and Paul Revere. I stood at Lexington and fired the shot heard around the world. I'm Washington, Jefferson, Patrick Henry. I'm John Paul Jones, the Green Mountain Boy, David Crockett. I'm Lee Grant, Abe Lincoln. I remember the Alamo, the Maine, and Pearl Harbor. When freedom called, I answered and stayed until it was over over there. I left my heroic dead in Flanders Fields and on the Hey, that's facts right there. Not only do we have 350 million people living in this country, but we have a lot of ghosts and souls who died for this country. 
Well, I apologize for the train. You know, every time I do a video, that train's got to be coming. <sighs> Let's go. I left my heroic dead in Flanders fields on the rock of Corregidor, on the bleak slopes of Korea, and in the steaming jungles of Vietnam. I am the Brooklyn Bridge, the wheat lands of Kansas, and the granite hills of Vermont. I am the coal fields of the Virginias and Pennsylvania, the fertile lands of the West, the Golden Gate and Grand Canyon. I am Independence Hall, a monitor. I am the Merriman. I am big. I sprawl from the Atlantic to the Pacific. My arms reach out to embrace Hawaii and Alaska. Three million square miles. I'm more than three million farms. I'm forest, field, mountain, and desert. I'm quiet villages, and I'm man. The United States is that big? Three hundred, three million square miles. Whew. That's humongous. But you see what he's doing? He's he's laying out what this country is. Now, today's society, they will let you believe it, that the United States is a lot of systemic racism. Now, granted, there's some bit of our history that's not too good. But you show me a nation that's not. You show me a nation's history that is good. You won't be able to do that. Every country in this world has a dark past. Now, my daddy used to tell me, the past is the past. You can't dwell on it. You can learn from it, but don't dwell on it. You can't change it. That's facts. He also said the future is not guaranteed. You should prepare for it, but it's not guaranteed you're going to see it. That's another fact. But he said we live in the present. They call it a present for a reason. So open it up and enjoy it. So what I'm getting at is. We're not living in the 1700s anymore. Or the 1800s. We're living in the 21st century. It's the year 2021. For some reason people will let you believe that slavery is still going on in this country. And that the KKK is running wild. And there's lynch mobs everywhere. That is all false. That's a false narrative that the far left has been pushing. Why? Because they want to divide this nation. That's why I'm showing you this video. It's an educational video and it has a lot of facts to it. It shows you exactly what America is. But if you listen to some people in this country, they will let you believe that that every cop is out to kill somebody. That the military are a bunch of baby killers. And that the KKK is running rampant in every city and having lynchings and burning crosses. Which is all fake news. That's a false narrative. So what I'm getting at is don't listen to all the hype. Do your research. Knowledge is power. The more knowledge you have, the more power you have. And that is a proven fact. Come on, Mr. Cash. Keep talking your stuff. Cities that never see. You can look at me and see Ben Franklin walking down the streets of Philadelphia with his bread little bundles on you can see Betsy Ross with her needle. You can see the lights of Christmas and hear the strains of all lane sign as the calendar turns again. Hey, that was awesome. Johnny Cash, you are the GOAT. May you rest in peace. I don't understand why People in this country want to destroy this country the way they do. Why they will get up on the news and tell all these false narratives 
to divide this nation. We just finished a pandemic. Hundreds of thousands of people have died in this country from it. But yet, they just want to keep tearing everything down. They want you to believe that every white man is a white supremacist. They want to divide whites against blacks. They want to keep that division there. And the reason why they do it is because then they have power. The more we are divided, the more power they have. So I challenge you, don't let them divide us. Stand up against them. Call BS when it needs to be called. Reach across the aisle. And shake your fellow Americans' hand. New Breed asked me to get up on stage one time and talk about the video Men in War. And I gave him, I gave the crowd a speech what I thought war was. And this is what I said. When you go to war, you don't care about a person's color of their skin. You don't care about their political views or their religious beliefs. Don't care about their gender or their sex orientation. The only thing we care about is the person to the left and right of us, our brother in arms. Because at the end of the day, we all bleed red. And we all just want to get home. Now, this is a volunteer military. I'm a veteran of four combat tours. I've earned four Purple Hearts. So please don't thank me for them. I don't need to be thanked. I'm not a hero. The true heroes are the ones who pay the ultimate sacrifice. The reason why I'm telling you this, that's the way we should look at each other. I shouldn't care about if you're a Republican or Democrat, if you're a Christian, a Catholic, a Buddhist, a Muslim, an atheist. None of that matters. It doesn't matter if you're gay, straight, bi, transgender, whatever. At the end of the day, we all bleed red. We're all made in the image of God. So don't let the far left and the media divide us. If we allow that to happen, every person who fought and died for the Constitution of the United States would have died in vain. Please, don't let that happen. Reach out to your fellow American. And embrace them. And love them. You can agree to disagree. You don't have to be friends. But don't hate. Don't let the far left win. By putting these stupid. Idiotic statements that they put out. On a daily basis. If you let them win. We're no longer a free nation. And that's my final thoughts. All right, dog fan, put a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Am I right? Am I wrong? Or am I just straight crazy? And we can talk about it. Until then, dog pound, this is Triple T with your dog pound reaction. Stay strong, stay safe, stay blessed. Until next time, have a blessed day. <laughs> On the back roads where the Crawl in the swamp land, we ain't worried about no law. You can find me in the woods with my dogs under pine trees in the land of the law. I've been drinking on this whiskey, got my head up in the clouds.